Hey there, YouTube. Yu Gi Oh Addict here. Um, I topped the regional today. I've posted up a bunch of other videos from the regional, including that pack opening and the, um, the duel. But yeah, um, I topped the regional. I was playing Black Wings. Um, I was only running one Bayou when I was running three Blizzard, so yeah. I had no Solemn Morning or Delta Crow either. I finished eighth. Last round, I lost to this weird deck that ran three Prisma and Glads, and I don't even know, but whatever. It happens. Anyway, um, onto the deck. I have three Bora. Pretty standard card choice. Um, I might drop to two for some tech, but I don't know. Like, Bora's really good, though. Like, yeah, it's kind of weak for, like, 1700, but the piercing really helps. Next, we have three Kalut. Um, it's pretty much the Blackwing for Honest. I mean, it's like the Honest Blackwing. Um, I've gone for game with it a couple times today, which was nice. Like, it really adds a lot of the TK potential to the deck. Next is the MPB of the deck. MVP of the deck. Sure of the Flame. Sure of the Blue Flame. This card is amazing. Um, you can combine it with Kalut, Book of Moon, whatever. You attack, ram over their thing, grab a Veyu or a Gale or whatever. I've actually done Kalut, sure, a beat down. And it's really good because, yeah, because sure is, it works pretty much just like Flamville Fire Dog. Um, yeah. So, sorry, holding um, the camera with my cast is kind of hard, but, yeah. Next, I uh, have 3 Blizzard. Blizzard is really, really good. Um, it does the same thing as Vaya, pretty much, which is bring out a level 6. But it actually has its effect, and you can go for Goyo or Brio, which is always nice to have that option. Um, next is 3 Sirocco. Um, pretty self-explanatory. It's, it's Sirocco. It's one of the best cards in the deck. It works kind of like a mutilated Cyber Dragon. Like, mutilated is in, like, the effects been neutered a bit, but, yeah. Next is one Gale. This card's amazing. Like, it's Gale, you know. I don't really think I need to explain much about it. Next, I'm only running one Bayou. Because it can dead draw a lot. So, yeah. And the only way you can really get it in the grave effectively, if you have it in hand, is through Icarus. So, yeah. Then I have Dark Arm. Um, yeah. Like, it's pretty self explanatory. Like, you know, it's Dark Arm. Pop through back row. Pop through whatever. It allows you to go for a lot of OTKs you wouldn't otherwise have, which is nice. Next, I have two Book of Moon. Um, pretty good card. Uh, I might drop down to one. Like, I'm just not really liking it that much. Like, I like Book of Moon as a card, but there are times when I just wish I had something else. I don't know. Next are two Duality. Self-explanatory. It's Black Wings. Two cards for Black Feathers. A lot of people are running one or none, but I think they're idiots. This card is amazing in Black Wings. Like, yeah, I guess you exhaust your monster account, but you're also drawing be drawing in more monsters, three cards for Black Feathers and Allure and stuff. Like, you're just thinning your deck one monster and one spell when, by doing that. Like, you're also exhausting your spells, technically, with um, cards for Black Feathers, so... It's kind of a bad argument, in my opinion. Next, we have two MST. Um, a lot of people don't like this right now, but I like MST in this deck because you also run Icarus, and the average is two or three set back row, so you can pretty much clear their field with a Veyu and an MST. One Allure, just more draw power, including the cards of Black Feathers and Dualities. Then one Dark Hole, Staple, one Whirlwind, Staple and Black Wings. One Monster Reborn, and one Giant True Nade. Um... I don't have a Delta Crow, Delta Crow, so I'm running Giant Trunade. Next is 3 Icarus Attack, self-explanatory. Pretty much works similar to Geysaurus or Celestia. 2 Bottomless Trap Hole, um, pretty obvious in my opinion. 1 Torrential, 1 Mirror Force, 1 Oppression, and 1 Solemn. So yeah, that's the, that's the main deck. Um, side deck is Fisher. Two Fisher. Where's the? It's in here somewhere. 
Okay, well, I'm citing two Fisher. Just know that. <laughs> My bad. It's in here somewhere. I think I just... Oh, there it is. So, yeah, I'm citing two Fisher. Um, mostly, I just side this against Consecrated and GDs because their chariots are kind of bad to deal with. And, yeah, and Consecrated just, it sucks. Then I'm running two skill drain. I side these in against pretty much everything, but I would main deck them, but I just don't really like it main decked. I don't know why. Um, next, I'm siding two Thunder King. This card is actually really good. Like... I don't know. Like, I don't like it main deck. I was main decking it, playtesting, but it's not that good, though, main deck. But it's really good, though, side deck. Two Banisher. Um, really good, because you can side out your, like, a Blizzard and a Vaya. Because Blizzard still synchros and stuff, and... If... It, it should either be, like, 8... Like, I just wish they made Banisher either, like, 1800 or, um, 1400. Because then it would be easier to protect, because it wouldn't be... Because it couldn't get bottomless, and it would be a nice, or it would be a nice beat stick. Next, two chain disappearance. Side this against quick draw, which it can be one of your worst matchups. Then two no win. You side this against everything, but blackwing and glads. Well, everything really that's competitive. Like if you're playing um quick draw, you side it. If you're playing plants, side it. If you're playing scraps, side it. If you're playing Sabres, side it. If you're playing Absolute Zero, side it. Like, there's just way too many things it's set right now. So then there's Malevolent Catastrophe. In place of my side deck, Delta Crew. Then, two Noble Mounds. Well, two Noble Mounds of Extermination. Which is actually really good against Glads. Then my extra deck is... Two Armor Master. Let me find the second one. Two armor master, um, self-explanatory. Armor master is armor master, so then two armed wing, same here. And I'm running three breeze, so I mean three blizzard as well. So like a lot of people only run one armed wing now, but that's kind of bad in my opinion. Then next is um, dark end. This card is amazing. It won me like two or three games today. Like, the ability to just, um, get rid of a Stardust without really having to, whatever, and calling priority is pretty good. Next is, um, Thought Ruler. Pretty good. Scrap Dragon. Self-explanatory. Um, Catastor. Colossal. Goyo. Red Dragon. Stardust. Briar. Black Rose. And I topped with only 14 cards in my extra deck. I should have had a magical android, but uh, my friend took it. So yeah.